Hey, good morning, and again, welcome to the Daily Dose of Advent with Rev. Rich. Today is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021, and I am so glad for you to be here as we continue to work on love and um, the week of love in Advent. This is now the third week of Advent. Again, you see our candles are lit in celebration. Always ask you subscribe, like, share if these messages help anyone else. Please do so. We love to get the message out. And again, we just want to touch somebody's heart in this holiday season. And with love being the uh, focus of this week. So with that, our reading today is with someone special again that I work with. Uh, Reverend Carolyn over at U the Urban Ministerial School does great work. And today her reading is, um, excuse me. Mama, my natural grandmother, loved me unconditionally. I was sure I was her favorite grandchild. After I became an adult, I learned that all her grandchildren thought they were her favorite. That's the gift of love given generously and freely. All who receive such love know how treasured they are in the heart of the lover. Mama taught me that God is love and everywhere present. I remember her standing at the kitchen sink washing dishes and talking to God as if he were standing right beside her. In the morning when we made the beds, we knelt by each one and said a prayer for the person who slept in that bed. Dolly girl, let us pray for you, she said, and then suggested that I say the prayer. To this day, I pray simply. I do not know how to use fancy words and elegant phrases, but prayer is always effective. When we pray from our heart with love, that love flows into the universe, touching every person, infiltrating every situation. Hardly a day goes by when a memory of Mama doesn't come to mind. From her, I learned the gift of giving and receiving unconditional love. From Isaiah 66, 13, she shares, as a mother comforts, comforts her child, so I will comfort you. So again, we continue the work of love and continue the example of love, something that we aspire to. Um, if you looked at our, you know, we talked about our reading on Sunday, we talked about and affirmed that we are a divine expression of love. And in that expression of love, we are showing others how to love. But it must begin within ourselves. And when we recognize love, we understand how it must work within us. In this case, her grandmother showed her unconditional love. And in turn, she's able to share that love with others. And that's our goal this week is to understand love within ourselves, understand that in this universal space, we are all expressions of love, sharing with each other. And some people need that permission to love themselves. Our affirmation for today, I remember the warmth of love freely and generously given. Again, our affirmation, I remember the warmth of love freely and generously given. Once again, I remember the warmth of love freely and generously given. So as the affirmation says, we remember ourselves what that feeling of unconditional love is and how it was given freely to us. And our goal is to express that exact same thing into this world. So with that being said, as always, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I will see you on the next episode as well as Wisdom Wednesday.